Hi everyone, let's talk about Childish Gambino. Starting out as a comedian, a script writer, and an actor, Donald Glover started off in shows like Community and 30 Rock, slowly progressing into a rapper in the early 2010s, releasing an EP titled EP, and then an album in 2011 titled Camp. This album showcased Donald Glover's flow and his style, but it did showcase him being a persona that rubbed people the wrong way a lot of the time. Pitchwork's review of this uh, was very negative, the Needle Drops review was very negative, and I'm not here to begrudge them, uh, but they have their opinions. I will defend Camp at some respect. There are moments like Heartbeats or Bonfire that I enjoy, but the entire record as a whole is pretty dodgy. I think he improved on a lot of fronts on his 2013 album Because the Internet. Attached to a 75-page screenplay, which I wouldn't say it's completely necessary to listen to that album. Maybe it's an embellishment on that record. However, I do like that album more than Camp, as do a lot of people. Songs like 3005 and Telegraph Avenue and Sweatpants are songs that I still listen to to this day. And then he kind of reinvented himself on his 2016 album, Awaken My Love. Songs like Redbone and Me and Your Mama made him a little more popular as a rapper, as a musician, and that album got a lot of acclaim, fan and critically. I would also say it is his best album as of yet. Let me talk about the rollout of this album because it's kind of weird. Randomly one night, Donald Glover decided to put up a website titled Donald Glover Presents. On this website was kind of like a picture and you would press the play button in the middle of this picture and it would stream the album. This was on for several hours until he took it down and then a day later he put up a timer. When I saw this I immediately thought in 17 hours he's gonna drop this album. Sure enough, sure enough, after the timer set to zero he dropped the album. Now you might notice something interesting about this album. It's date March 15th 2020. It has all but two songs that are just timestamps. Algorithm and time, I would kind of assume they're like singles to this record, almost like teaser tracks. Time was one of the songs that was kind of getting the buzz around the internet. Uh, it was like, oh, this song has Ariana Grande. And then the song 1238, the track that goes after this song, features 21 Savage. His verse on the song is actually really good too. Now from a production standpoint, this is psychedelic soul in a way. I think it also combines the elements from his older material. It's not a rap album. I wouldn't say it's a rap album. Uh, it's more of an R&B album, but it's kind of a lot of different things. You got Neo Soul, you got Psych Soul, you got Experimental Hip Hop, you got Art Pop. It's a pretty eclectic album, and while I wouldn't call it extremely experimental, it's not the most experimental thing I've ever heard. It, it, it kinda is experimental, I guess. You start off with a track, zero, 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 which is more or less an introduction track to the album. You have this very subtle drone that's going on in the background, and then Donald Glover has these very modulated vocals. We are, we are. This goes on for about three minutes, and while it is a great introduction track, I wouldn't necessarily call it a tone setter in any way because this kind of has like a theatrical vibe to it. It kind of has a cinematic feeling to it, but the rest of this album, with the exception of the last track, doesn't feel all that campy. The song Algorithm sounds more like a hardcore hip hop song. These murky drum beats that are underneath the Childish Gambino's vocals that are very heavily modulated this time. They almost sound like a monster or a demon of some sorts. I like this track. I think it's a very interesting idea, but the ending of this song is pretty rickety. It doesn't seem like it comes to a conclusion, and the ending just feels like someone kind of messing with a drum machine. This album, in some respect, feels like a DJ set where the song plays and then the next song is gonna play, but you gotta have to program the next song. Test everything out, do everything you can, and then the next song starts playing. However, I don't know if that idea is fully conveyed with everyone that's listening to this record. Uh, for me personally, 
I like DJ sets when they're live, not on an album. And I don't begrudge Glover for doing this kind of idea. It is an interesting idea, but it didn't really pan out all that well. The track Time is kind of boring to me. The first three minutes of the song is interesting. You have Gambino singing over this pretty loudly mixed drum and clap pattern, and his vocals, again, are very much heavily modulated. So are Ariana Grande's vocals as well. Now, this song doesn't feel like it knows what it's doing. I did say on the song that the drums are mixed quite loudly, and that's not just a problem with this song, but on numerous cuts on this album. Like the next two tracks, the one with 21 Savage and 1910. I gotta say 1238, the one with 21 Savage. Funny enough, this song, the way Gambino is rapping or singing over this, kind of reminds me of JPEG Mafia. There's also another thing to add about not just the production of this album, but the lyricism on this album. Both can be a little repetitive, like on the track 3222 or the song after that. I also have to point to track 10 on this album, 4226, AKA Feels Like Summer, which I like the song, don't get me wrong, but why is it on this album? It was released in 2018 on an EP. It's still a good song, and there's, I believe, an added verse in the song. I could be wrong about that, but it's still a good song. I like the psychedelic vibe of this, and I think everything that Childish Gambino was trying to do on this record works on this song. The modulated vocals, the psychedelic production of the track, it all comes together very nicely. The album ends with the song 5349, which closes out the album pretty theatrically, but I mean, it, it doesn't feel like a grand ending to something that was grand on its own. It kind of feels like a pretty flashy ending to something that was somewhat mediocre. Maybe there's something that Childish Gambino is trying to do on this record. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't convey to me all that much, but I've listened to this thing multiple times and I'm just not really loving it as much as I want to. Don't get me wrong, there are some really great ideas on this album, but there are just some ideas that just don't pan out all that well in Gambino's favor. The mixing on these songs, for the most part, needs to be worked on, and the drum patterns on some tracks are just way too loud. The vocals can definitely not be so goddamn modulated, like a lot of these songs are just him basically just screaming into a vocorder. Not literally, but that's what it feels like because it's just so goddamn manipulated. But again, songs like the first track or the last track, as well as Algorithm, feel like interesting ideas and good songs, but there just needs to be more. More cohesion, more focus, better mixing, better mastering, just overall needs to be a quality album. In a weird way, I feel like this album is to Childish Gambino as The Life of Pablo is to Kanye West. There are great ideas on this album, but they're just not panned out completely. And maybe Gambino might edit this as time goes on, but what we have here is a set of dodgy tracks that feel incomplete. Not completely incomplete, but rather they feel like rough drafts of songs. This album could have been a lot better than what it is right now, but I mean, what we have is not terrible, and I think it will certainly please Childish Gambino fans, but for me personally, it's nothing more than a C plus. However, I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. Remember, this is only my opinion, because music is subjective.